dancing to Sakuaba and Toffee and all that from Castro okay. back then. Um, having no idea that uh, maybe I will meet Castro later in my life. So I came to meet Castro and then he had, he had a song I was doing in the studio and he was like, no, this is my kind of sound. Um, I want to put something on this song for you. Let me bless it and help you promote it. You know, as at that time, I wasn't having a um, record label. I was just yeah. with Sessi, you know, he was helping me record and all that. So I was putting all my hopes on Castro because he had the platform already. The whole Ghana knows him. So if I, I can go on stage with Castro, it's even once or twice, it's I mean, that song will just blast. So we had plans. He even wanted to finance the video and then um, so the song wasn't released even before he disappeared. So after him disappearing, we had to drop the song. So are you, are you hoping to see Castro one day? Is that your prayer? Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying very hard for Castro to come because not just for me. I mean, the whole Ghana needs Castro right now because, you know, he's one of the, the strong pillars of high life and also, you know, hip life music. He's been consistent since, since he came since, in, since. and every year he drops the hit when his voice is on your song. <laughs> <laughs> just like this or you want. Yes, like so um, I think, um, I'm sure, like, I'm, I'm just praying Castro. Was it difficult for you getting Castro to this song? Was it difficult? Because, Charlie, at the time, Castro was one of the biggest artists. Yes, because... And you, somebody who was, 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 was sleeping in Sessi's <laughs> studio, and... Uh, <laughs> Yes, was it actually, I was I was surprised myself because we didn't plan on having Castro on the song. The okay. song was just in progress. So she was just giving me the beat, like lay bars on this beat. Let's see who 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 best fits this song to come and you know drop some vocals on mm -hmm. it for you. So we were doing the song in the studio, and then he was even sick, so he was holding his medicine when he budged in the studio, and he was like, ah. Who song is that? And said you like this boy. Say ah, this is Igbe Mawe. They they do music. Yeah, he's an artist. Oh wow, I like this song. Let me do something on it. So he didn't even write anything he did on the song. He, he just went in the booth and then he was just vibing with the beat and he was just dropping the thing. So I was there like, <laughs> I so, thought so I was excited. Like hey, Charlie, because I wasn't even wearing like anything. My I barefooted in the studio. Uh, because he just woke up. Just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was like wow. Castro, Toffee. First way, I'll go away, keep him go dance for himself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, say back in the days, yes. no jams, he be waking people. Wake keep it, wake keep it, and Charlie. In that day, the DJ study, you know. That, that is uh, where you see the boys coming so to see the girls. And he was actually, for me, it was a very big blessing, and I'm, I'm, I'm still thankful for him for because this song actually gave me a lot of my 